Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Get Curried. Well, we chefs are an extremely lucky breed because we get to attend a lot of these exchange programs where we exchange recipes. Well, unfortunately in one of these exchange programs, I could not visit that country, but a chef from there visited here and taught us this recipe. This one is a Sri Lankan black chicken curry. And in this episode of the curry world, this is the recipe from me to you. Let's begin. This recipe of Sri Lankan black chicken curry is extremely simple. The only thing is you mix the chicken, you marinate it well. You of course mix in a few spices, you give it the tempering and all of that. And you allow it to cook till the color literally changes to a deep brownish black color. And that's where the name comes in from Sri Lankan black chicken curry. Now the first thing is to marinate the chicken with a few ingredients. Let's begin with vegetable oil. Salt as required. Of course, the amount of salt can be altered. You can add it later, but you cannot reduce it later. So at this stage, add it with caution. Let's add in paste of ginger and garlic. And finally, to the marination, I'm going to add in dark soy sauce. Now, this is also one of the most critical ingredients because you get that little bit of sourness from this. But what's important is you get the black color from this ingredient. Let's mix this well. Now while the chicken is being kept aside, let's quickly move on to the cooking pot. Let's light the flame, keep it on high for now. And I'm going to add in desi ghee. Once the ghee heats up, I'm going to add in mustard seeds and allow these to splutter. Once that happens, I'm going to add in cumin seeds, cinnamon stick and cloves, green cardamom, I'm using the entire pods in this case. Just lightly bash them so that the flavor just kind of opens up. Curry leaves. Red onions, which are sliced. And give this a quick stir. Once the onions just kind of become slightly translucent, I'll be adding in two more ingredients. The first one, green chilies in this case just snip the stalk off and keep them whole and bay leaves which have torn into a few pieces let's stir this well and allow all the flavors to kind of get released well this is the stage where you'll actually start getting the flavor of the curry which is the black chicken sri lankan curry all of this mind you is happening on a very high flame at this stage let's add in the chicken which is kept aside marinating well, along with the pieces, I'm also going to add in the juices because that's where all the flavor and mind you, the color also is. Before stirring, I'm also going to add in the powder spices. In this case, red chili powder. Now, this is the red chili powder which is not very spicy. It also has very moderate color. So you can choose a powder or a mix accordingly. A touch of turmeric powder. Let's add in coriander seed powder, untoasted, and black pepper. Now this is black pepper which is not roasted, it is pounded or it is hand crushed, but ensure that you use a little more of it because it's not only for flavor, it's also for its color. While the original recipe for like a kilo of chicken uses two whole heaped tablespoons of black pepper. So it's that much. Time to stir this well. And also while stirring, ensure that you keep scraping the sides. Well, even if a little bit gets stuck here and there to the bottom of the sides, it's absolutely fine because scraping all of that could be like a little concern at this stage. But the moment you add in the liquid, all of that literally is going to render back in the pan. And that's the beauty of this recipe because as this keeps cooking, of course, the doneness of the chicken is also something. But as this recipe keeps cooking, keeps reducing in terms of from a curry to a gravy, you can always build it back in terms of the curry. It starts getting thicker, denser in terms of color, flavor, everything. Let's mix this well and time to add in coconut milk. Let's stir this as well. At this stage, you'll realize and notice that all the oil or ghee 
that was added in this recipe starts releasing the sides of the pan. Well, this is the sign that now you need to leave the curry and allow it to cook for at least 40 minutes or till it gets nice, thick and beautiful in terms of its color. We intermittently also need to stir this chicken because of, of course, the addition of coconut milk. It's a very gentle ingredient as such. And of course, a little bit will also keep splashing on the sides of the pan. So keep scraping it, keep adding it back to the pan so that the color gets nice and prominent. At around five to seven minutes, you'll realize and notice that the color will begin to deepen. And that's the beauty of this recipe, Sri Lankan black chicken curry. It's around 20 minutes and it's roughly half mark at this stage. Of course, we need to stir this. Like I said, do not forget. And now I'm going to add in banana peppers. Now, banana peppers are basically thick chilies, which are not very spicy, but they add in a wonderful layer of flavor. I'm also adding in the green ones along with the ripened ones. And along with this, some quartered tomatoes. Once these ingredients go in, we're going to stir this well and allow this to cook for the remaining 20-25 minutes or till the chicken is wonderfully cooked. It's been 20 minutes now after the addition of the tomatoes. Overall, it's been around 40-45 minutes. The chicken is looking wonderfully cooked and the gravy has also reduced and simmered beautifully well. With this, off goes the flame, and time to now serve this. With this recipe, Sri Lankan black chicken curry, I hope I've added yet another gem to this series called The Curry World. Make this for your family, make this for your friends, and this is me, the Bombay chef, Varun Namdar, signing off. Bye for now.